Okay, let's find the GCF, the greatest common factor for 24 and 28. And here's how you do it. So the greatest common factor, sometimes you'll hear that called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. These are all the same thing. So what we do, we find the factors for 24 and 28, look at the common factors and just choose the greatest one. That's the GCF. So for 24, we end up with these right here as our factors. So these are the factors at 24. For 28, well, let's see, 1 times 28, that's 28. 2 times 14, that's 28. And 4 times 7, those are the factors for 28. So we have our factors. Now we just look at what's in common. Choose the greatest one. 1, that goes into 24. 1 goes into 28. That's a common factor. 2, that's a common factor as well. No, but how about 4? Four, that looks like the greatest common factor. Goes into both 24, 28 evenly. So in answer to our question, the GCF for 24 and 28, that's four. There are other ways you could do this, like prime factorization, but unless you have really big numbers, this works really well. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.